Hey there, quick video on something I'm asked for constantly, and that is when is Microsoft going to support multiple touch consoles in a Teams room? And the short answer is they probably won't, at least as far as I know. There are some OEMs that actually offer this feature, depending on whether you're MTR on Android or Windows, but not all of them do. But Microsoft has actually enabled something that's even better, in my opinion. Why have an additional touch console with additional infrastructure to support uh, an additional cost when you can kind of have the same experience and do the things that you would probably typically do from the touch console on something you already own? So a little clue is I've actually got the device there. So I'm actually streaming my iPhone into an app that's uh, uh, playing in this OBS recording uh, for you to see. I'm going to piggyback off of another feature that Microsoft has released very, very recently. And that is, as you can see up there, the QR code. I just did a video on the QR codes. It's in my channel. I'll link back to it in the description. So what I'm going to do is actually open up this QR code app. I'm going to scan the QR code and then I'm going to press the URL. It's going to open up the Teams application. And as I showed before, it gives me three choices. Cast content, I've got meet now, and I've got this scheduled meeting. Again, the behavior is exactly the same. So if I join this scheduled meeting, you can see it starts up um, the uh, companion experience. I'll go through that in a second. I'll just press accept. So now my iPhone and the Teams room are in the same meeting. So with the companion experience, you can see I've got a few things here. So I've got chat, so I can actually open up the meeting chat. I can chat, I can answer questions, that sort of thing. Just go back. I can open up the people tab and I can either add people. I can add another room if I want to. I can get out the meeting options so I can do things like lobby control and a few other things. I can manage the audio and video. Um, and. Uh, I can also admit people. So if somebody else joins from, uh, and I've got the lobby turned on and I want to be able to control the admittance, I don't need to reach over to the touch console. I don't have to join from a laptop and be kind of cumbersome that way. I can just go in here and just keep admitting people as time goes on. If I want to, I can also share my screen. Uh, I'm not gonna do that because again, it'll break the casting session that I've actually got. I can also press the share tray and I can share a PowerPoint from my phone, share my photos or something. But the other cool thing is, is I can share a whiteboard. So I can actually, I can actually turn on the Microsoft whiteboard in this meeting. So there you go. You can see my phone is actually starting the whiteboard. Um, I can press new whiteboard. There you go. It's actually added the whiteboard into the meeting. And if I want to draw on the whiteboard, I just kind of get rid of that and I can open up a pen and that sort of thing. I can also get at Copilot. So another really cool thing is that I can get at Copilot, I can ask it questions as I need to, but that's not really in the spirit of this companion experience that I want to show you. I've also got room controls and more options. So in more options, I can do some specific things that are pertinent to the actual meeting. I can start taking notes, I'll open up apps, um, and so forth and so on. I can also add captions. So again, I could do all this from my phone if I want to, and this is, this is something I can't actually do on a console, I can start recording. So I can actually start the recording using the companion experience from my phone or a tablet or something using the Teams app. And of course I can lock the meeting. I can do that from the, the touch console, but again, I can do that from the corner. I can do that from any seat around the table. I can also raise my hand if I want to ask a question or actually get the attention of, of people. All right, so the next option I've got is actually room control. So if I press the room control application, that opens up secondary screen and I've actually got some additional controls for the room itself. If I wanted to, I can mute the microphone. I don't need a mute button across the table on a, maybe a table microphone. I don't need to reach across to the touch console. Just mute my microphone from there. I can turn on and off the captions. I can uh, turn off video. So you can see it actually has that kind of hid control, if you like, that's actually controlling the audio, controlling the video from the room itself. So I can mute and unmute the room itself, not me. I can mute and unmute the room itself 
from my phone. Really cool. I can also change the layout. So I can go from gallery, which is my default, over to front row and back again. I can kind of do what makes sense for that meeting. So I can even adjust the volume of the room. You can see from the icon down the down at the bottom, the volume is turned all the way down. So if I press the plus icon on my phone, it increments the audio up and down by 10. And then when I'm adjusting all of these controls, I just go back and I'm back into that companion experience. And then when the meeting is done, all I have to do is pr press the big red button and then I can leave the meeting, leave the meeting running and actually go away. Or I could just press end the meeting for all, which I'm going to do. Now press end to confirm. And that's it. You can see it's actually dropped out. I'm just going to press five stars. If this has been useful, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe for more content. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.